plenty of pins falling down are what some ladies are banking on to help them win the 7th annual women's USBC state tournament. The competition is spread over the last weekend in February and the first two weekends of March. About 500 women will compete in the team singles and doubles formats at Bama and Leland Lanes. Kathy Pugh, president of the Tuscaloosa Bowling Association, is the first to tell you about the city's growing bowling tradition. We were the first city uh, to host the very first uh, women's state tournament that came here in 2007. Now it's come back around to us. Pew felt it was necessary for the tournament to come back to T-Town. They had a rotation of state tournaments between Birmingham, Huntsville, Mobile, and Montgomery. My question when I got on the state board is why is Tuscaloosa not in this rotation? And they said, uh, well, no one has ever expressed interest. So I said, well, I'm interested. So they said, sure, and they voted on it. And Tuscaloosa became part of the rotation. Sharon Graves has spent the last 30 years bowling in the event. She says it's about more than just competition. Bowling, you meet a lot of different people from a lot of different states, and you form a friendship that stays for years with the people you bow with. So if you can connect with somebody that you get along with and you can bow with, then you'll have a wonderful experience in your life. The tournament ends March 6th, and the winners will receive a plaque and cold hard cash. For the University of Alabama, I'm Lee Smith reporting.